Welcome back to the Falcon Dive, everyone. Thanks for joining us again. We're so excited that you are here. Uh, happy summer. I think it's like the unofficial beginning of summer now. So happy this is summer. summer. Yes. Today on our show, we have a very special guest from our career services department. Uh, so McKenna, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Hi, everybody. So I'm McKenna, and I'm the assistant director for career services. And I've been at the RIV for 15 years. And all of that time has been in career services, which is the wonderful office that helps make students and alums dreams come true. We love that. Totally. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we really do. McKenna, what about a fun fact about you? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Fun fact. My entire family is left-handed. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Oh. Kind of random, but <laughs> that's fantastic. What I got. <laughs> that is quite a fun fact. How many sure. are in this family? Um, my parents, myself, my husband. Okay, and then only one of my children. We're working on converting my son to be <laughs> uh, in that, right? He's in kindergarten, so I think that could still happen. Right, 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 right. Or at least be ambidextrous. That could be worthwhile right. as well. <laughs> right. <Yes. laughs> Excellent. Wow. And of course, we are your hosts, John and... <laughs> Yes, and Nicole, obviously, yes. Thank you for coming back for another round of the Falcon Dive. Let's jump right into those questions, yeah? All right, so to yeah. start, McKenna, could you tell us a little bit about career services? Okay. So career services at UW River Falls is co comprehensive in nature. So we're going to work with students early on and helping them find their career interests, and make sure that they understand what they want to major in, that they're content in their major. Um, so if not, we can help aid in that process of switching and helping them find something that's maybe better suited. But then we can also help them think through what they might want to do with their major. And then we kind of build from there in terms of helping with application materials, helping them think through how to maximize their summers and what experiences, whether it's internships or part-time jobs, might they wanna be considering that would be strong resume builders. And then on the back end of a student's time at River Falls, we're gonna be helping them with the internship search, the job search, networking, um, and everything that falls in between all of those major markers and then we serve our alumni for free forever so once a falcon always a falcon and individuals can always come back to us for services and career advice that's awesome not every university does that for their alumni for do sure that. so you're right john the two things that really do make our office unique would be the fact that we serve our alums for free forever and then secondly, it would be that component of the career assessments being woven into the services that our office provides. Now, I've heard you have this little event called the Career Fair. Could yeah. you share a little bit about what that is, what it all entails? We do a career fair every fall and every spring. And this past fall, we expanded it to become a two-day experience for students. And so we welcomed over 150 employers across the two days. And in that, it was a chance for students to engage with employers from all different industries. And so our typically our junior, senior students, and beyond are there looking for internships and full-time jobs, sophomores as well. And then the first year students, we absolutely want to encourage to come to that event just so that they can get acclimated right away and can experience what that event is so that by the time they're to the point that they are looking for uh, an internship or a full-time position, they're a little bit more comfortable in that space, but um, the employers are there ready uh, to interact with our students 
and eager to talk about what their companies do, but then also what it is that they're looking for when they're making those hiring decisions. McKenna, what are some other fun events on campus that Career Services is hosting? The etiquette dinner. So our promise is that at this event, it will be the best food. It's it's good. Um, the dessert is usually my favorite, but I'm a sweet kind of person. And so it's going to be five different courses brought out one at a time. And then our director does a wonderful job of offering instruction one course at a time that's talking about how to eat properly. But then there's just so much more covered in that event as well. It's like, how do you engage in small talk beyond, oh, sure is nice outside, <laughs> uh, and then the conversation just kind of falls flat from there. And so it's, it's really focused on life skills. And so dining etiquette, but then just kind of social etiquette as well, and how to handle yourself when you're in a professional situation or a professional conversation. Uh, so that one's fun because you get to sit with your friends and um, get to engage, have some fun, but then have you some learn food. some great, yeah, have <laughs> the best food, but then kind of take some life skill nuggets with you. Another one that we do that's fun, um, <laughs> I think it's grand, but I also recognize that um, it can have some nerves associated with it but mock interview day is such a great event um do either of you get nervous when you have an interview coming when you've had professional interviews i'm the host oh, of yeah. this and i'm nervous <laughs> right and how often have either of you ever had the chance to practice your interviewing without a job on the line. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, prior to this, to my work, I hadn't, sure, I would practice with friends, but it was like sitting on a couch running, like, tell me about yourself in your jammies and <laughs> wasn't super hardcore. And so the premise behind mock interview day is that we're going to match students up with employers in their industry and then they have a chance to spend 30 minutes together the employer will ask real questions that they would legitimately be asking candidates in internships or full-time job interviews the students have a chance to answer each of those questions and then the employers go back through at the end of their time together and give them feedback on how they did and um, you know what they really liked about their answers and then some pivots and some polish that may need to be made for future and so for the students it feels real right because these are employers that they may or may not know where over time any day of the week you can come into career services and we're super happy to do a mock interview but if you become a frequent flyer with one of us, over time, it's going to be like, oh, I'm just going and meeting with McKenna. Mm -hmm. And it's not going to be like, oh, my gosh, my seat feels like it's on fire. It's just McKenna. And so I think that's what mock interview day gives the students is that sense of realness, but still in that safe environment. Mm -hmm. where it's okay to make a mistake and there isn't a job on the line, um, but employers very much are using this event to be kind of looking for that talent for the future. I participated in mock interview day, both my junior and senior year on campus. And sure. I was lucky enough with the communication studies office that Jennifer Wills Rivera actually paired me up with the same person both years. And it was, so transformative to have that conversation with the same person to recognize my strengths, my weaknesses, and then see it again a year later after more academic experience and other opportunities on campus that mock interview day was huge for me. I, I mean, obviously, personally, it's a great development opportunity, but professionally, like, it was wild, man. I mean, there's not a lot of people that have that opportunity on their college campus. So thank you, Career Services, because it's, it's yeah. big. 
So <laughs> another question for you. Yeah. Um, McKenna, is there at all a lesson you learned during college or a fun story you have from being in the field? <laughs> sure. Oh my gosh. There's so many. Every day I still, I still learn. Mm -hmm. So um, early on when I was still in college, I was notorious. I had one cover letter that I would send out for every single job. And then I had a couple things bolded, um, like the job title and the company were bolded in my first paragraph so that I remembered to change them. Yeah. But that, so it stood out for the employers because I thought, well, that looks great. <laughs> um, then somewhere in the text of my cover letter, I talked about my attention to detail, which I still pride myself on today. And then there would be something where I would circle back in the conclusion to the company name. Well, there were any number of times where either the company name at the start or the end didn't get changed. So sometimes there were two company names oh, no. referenced. But remember, folks, in the middle, I talk about my great attention to detail. <laughs> so... I mean, you know, you just, you do the best you can. You don't get hired for a while. You do some proofreading. You realize what you've done and, and then you make some pivots and edits. All right. Now it's time for some fun mystery questions. Oh, gosh. I just think my seat got a little hotter, John. I'm nervous. I like to plan and know what's coming, but I... I'm, I'm a willing participant, so let's do this. <laughs> All right, let's let them roll. So the first one's pretty easy. It's a would you rather. So Ooh, okay. do you rather only be able to use a fork and no spoons or only to be able to use a spoon and no forks for the rest of your life? Oh, I'm, I'm feeling the, how about a KFC fork? I knew you were going to do it. <laughs> okay. A spoon. A spoon. Because I spill a lot. And so I feel like a spoon, I'm less messy. Stuff flies off my fork all the time. So I'm going to go with a spoon. Solid answer. Great. All right. Next question. What is your favorite scent? Ooh. Um. Okay. This is kind of random, but it's <laughs> something I've discovered. Uh, on quarantine. So um, there's a candle from Target that's called Water Lotus. Okay. I, it's sold off the shelves right now, so everybody needs to stop buying it <laughs> so that I can. It's so good. Okay, so that would be my new favorite candle scent. Okay. But I'm very much like a, a clean... Oh. And softer scent person, so like vanilla, mm -hmm. um, like fresh laundry. I like that. <laughs> the linen, cotton. I, I wanted to think of something else, but that's <laughs> what came to mind. Well, I mean, the, the water lotus sounds, it's I so love amazing. candles. Amazing. Yeah, that's it's so good. good. Go get it, y'all. Buy it at your nearest Target. <laughs> yes, for sure. Shout out to the Target. <laughs> Thank you for carrying it, but let's get it back on the shelves, honestly. <laughs> get your ducks in a row, Target. <laughs> <laughs> there is demand. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you, McKenna, for taking some time with us in this space to talk about the amazing Career Services Office. Thank you to everyone that watched with us today. Always thank you to John. We know that. But McKenna, any final send-offs from you for anybody watching? Let's make dreams come true. Let's make dreams come true. Okay. I love it. Yes. Excellent. Well, thank you all for being here, and we will see you on the next one, okay? Bye, everybody. TheRivIsTheBomb.com. <laughs>